And the other thing, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I'm I'm legally blind. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we can we can reverse yeah. all that. That's degeneration. We can reverse all that. I don't think we have enough time to get you your eyesight back, but we can certainly slow down the process and reverse the breakdown, reverse the degenerative breakdown, doing all those things I told you. And if you stay in yeah. touch with me, either um, via email, put your phone number in there, and I'll get back to you, or uh, via the radio program, I can work with you. Okay. Okay, Dave. God bless, buddy. Good to talk okay. to you. Have a beautiful day. All right. That's some good news there from Dave in Canada. 855-660-4261 is our number. Sandy in Texas, what's up? Hi, Ben. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. I've had trouble with my knee, and um, I had just had my first MRI done, and they found a torn meniscus and also mm. osteoarthritis in that mm-hmm. one knee. I've never, the only day I was in the hospital was the day I was born, and I have two kids, and um, I'd rather mm-hmm. not have that surgery. Is there oh, no. Uh, to do? no. Well, you know, I don't know how badly it's torn. The meniscus typically is, is a little bit tough to heal on its own, but there's a couple things you might want to try. Number one, most importantly, is any kind of inflammation in that area, and osteoarthritis is an inflammatory issue, is going to slow down the healing process. So you've got to make sure you're not doing anything that, that exacerbates the inflammatory process, and that means your, your, your largest control point is going to be in your food choices. Food choices are the number one reason why we get, end up with inflammation in the body, aside from mechanical issues, um, like trauma kinds of things. From a biochemical perspective, it's mostly food. So it's in your interest to find food problems. If you, if you don't have any food, if you can't find any food problems, there's nothing you can do. So it's really in your interest to look for stuff. Don't make it up, obviously. Don't fabricate issues, but look for them. Uh, and a lot of times you're going to find them, and that can go a long way towards improving the inflammatory process if you can eliminate problem food. So try to find digestive problems, food problems, uh, symptoms like constipation or bloating or nausea or heartburn or diarrhea, or any of those kinds of things, and then eliminate those foods. And that can help improve any inflammatory issues that you might have. It's keeping your blood sugar stable is also very important for for, uh, uh, for uh, as an anti-inflammatory strategy. And by the way, I'm not just talking to Sandy in Texas here. I'm talking to everybody out there because we can all benefit from these strategies. All of us have mild, inf- uh, as we get older anyway, have mild inflammatory problems or worse. And these are all strategies that, you, that can help you with any kind of inflammation. So number one, look for problem foods. Look for digestive problems. Eliminate those foods. Secondly, use digestive, uh, secondly, stabilize the blood sugar because blood sugar sugar problems can cause inflammation, so eating more protein and staying away from blood sugar spiking foods is also an important strategy. Use nutritional supplements for the digestive system. Enzymes are really neat for osteoarthritis patients or for any kind of torn cartilage issues as well because enzymes are anti-inflammatory. If you take them on an empty stomach, you can get some anti-inflammatory benefits from your ultimate enzymes. And, of course, if you take them with food, you'll get all the digestive benefits. That makes them very, very helpful supplements for a lot of issues because there's lots of inflammatory problems that people have. So using the ultimate enzymes, do a little swig of apple cider vinegar with your ultimate enzymes at the end of your meals. There's wonderful anti-inflammatory nutrients, uh, vitamins and minerals as well. Vitamin C is stupendously anti-inflammatory. I'd be doing anywhere from 1 to 5 grams of it in the powder a day. Uh, don't do too much. You'll get a little diarrhea or cramping or bloating. So you want to find a, that sweet spot for you. It could be anywhere from one to two grams twice a day kind of thing. Uh, and also you're going to get some vitamin C. You'll get a thousand milligrams of vitamin C in the Beyond Tang Tangerine and you should absolutely positively be on that healthy start pack. Uh, that goes without saying. Uh, essential fatty acids, you'll get those in the healthy start pack, but I would take uh, extra, nine or so a day. They have anti-inflammatory benefits, the omega-3s do, and they can also help you with that osteoarthritis. Uh, they can help you produce some, some uh, anti-inflammatory hormones to improve arthritis. EFAs are almost like a, they're a must-have. They're, oh, they're a must-have for everybody, but especially if you have osteoarthritis. Magnesium can also be helpful. You'll get some magnesium in the osteomag, but you might want to take some extra magnesium. That's always important as an anti-inflammatory. Uh, maybe 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of magnesium a day. And a couple other really important and interesting anti-inflammatory nutrients. Vitamin E is very anti-inflammatory. In fact, not just for torn meniscus inflammation, but also for workout inflammation or post-workout inflammation. 400 international units of vitamin D is wonderfully anti-inflammatory. There's different forms of vitamin E, as we've said so many times on this show. 
Uh, you want the mixed tocopherol form, ideally, and that's spelled mixed, mm-hmm. M-I-X-E-D, tocopherol, T-O-C-O-P-H-E-R-O-L, mixed tocopherols. And uh, you can also throw in those tocotrienols, which are even more anti-inflammatory, and that's spelled T-O-C-O-T-R-I-E-N-O-L-S. Alpha lipoic acid is also anti-inflammatory. I'd be using around 400 international units a day of alpha lipoic acid. And if you want to go all out, throw in some OPC selenium, which also has some wonderful anti-inflammatory properties. And that's uh, maybe 200 to 600 micrograms a day. And also, now that I think about it, MSM sulfur can be helpful for repairing that cartilage. And don't forget your glucogel caps, which have the amino acids that help build cartilage. They come from cartilage, the glucogel caps. Uh, You may want to take two or three of those every day. And bone soup also will get you some cartilage building factors. That's a ton of information there for you, Sandy. And I know it probably gave you too much, but you can always listen. The, you can listen to the archives. Uh, that's one of the neat things about those archives because I do give you a lot of information. I don't expect you to remember everything, but if you go back to the archives at brightsideben.com and jot everything down, uh, you got a lot of good info there for you. Okay? Okay, I appreciate it. One other quick question. I sure. am a vegetarian. I, well, I'm a pescatarian. I do okay. eat fish. So okay. I, I've heard you mention bone soup, and it sounds some, like something I would like to do. You could do it with However, the fish. You could do it with fish oh, okay. bones. It's not as, not, not as good. They don't have, there's not as much cartilage there, but I don't think there's any cartilage actually but but uh well there may be some but but it's not as cartilaginous as chicken bones but in any case yes you can get a lot of benefits by using fish stock and fish bone soup okay if you're doing shrimp okay. you can use those you know you can dissolve the uh the shells of shrimp there's lots of good nutrients in those shells as well all right i got to move on that's all the time we have for today thanks for your call sandy appreciate it very much and uh, if you're interested in checking out my website it's brightsideben.com love to have you on the brightside ben team give the phone team a call at 866-735-2470 thanks for listening, folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Hey, everyone. Have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional, quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey, gals. I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors, so it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card, and you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV.